Sup dogs, D.O.D. here with a game called Deep Root Manor. It is a game available on Steam for I believe $8, developed by Fukuo Fatuo. Excuse me for pronunciation. <laughs> they gave it to me for free, so that's the uh, full disclosure. And other than that, the graphics actually reminds me a bit of Faith, developed an RPG maker MV. Hopping into it, baby. Yo, this looks incredible. Heck yeah, the story goes that your little brother kind of just wanders off and probably goes missing in this spooby abandoned manor. Or sorry, it says that it's abandoned and haunted. So we decided to try looking for him in there. <laughs> Dear Diary, this has been one hell of a day. My brother has gone missing. Nobody saw him after this morning, and nobody has any idea where he could be. Seems like he got up early and left the house, leaving just some crumbs in the kitchen. Just yesterday though, he told me about a rumor he heard at school. He heard that somewhere in the woods near our home, there's a huge abandoned mansion. Creepy stuff. I know that brat all too well. I knew from that tone of his voice, when he told me that story, that he went to find and explore that building just for the sake of it. I told him those exact words to my parents. But they said it's just childish rumors. I told the policeman, but they didn't take me seriously at all. And now, everybody is just wasting their time. They haven't got a clue. What if something happened to him? What if... He can't come back. I'm fed up now, and as I write this, I'm waiting for my parents to lower their guard, to sneak outside. I know the wood paths. I know the wood paths, and if there really is a mansion deeper inside it, I'm gonna find it. And I'm gonna find my brother. Richard, please be safe. Yo, this intro though it is super epic, dude. By the way, this game is gonna be a long one, and I mean a long one. We'll start off slow, and then we'll pick it up. Oh man, this is fabulous. Looks very, very simple, but very masterfully done. Damn. I'm jealous. It's like, these are stuff I can do, but I just don't have that imagination to make it look as neat as this. Oh my god. Oh snap, she just hopped the fence. How come I never heard of this mansion in the middle of the woods? If Richard has seen this place, there's no way he didn't sneak in. I have to get inside somehow. Alright. We gotta figure it out. How could Richard have come inside? Well, probably squeeze through some crevice. Or, just straight out walk straight through the front door. It smelled great. I can't see anything through it. It's pitch dark. Completely jammed. Figures. This place must have been abandoned for a long time, I guess. Though, the lights are on. That's strange. Let's see. If I was Richie, how would I get inside? Smashing through the window! An old plaque. The name has been scratched off. 
just hulks right right in through or kool-aid man hmm the lights are on but it's still pretty dark inside i can't see much oh that's cool i, I like the fact that she slows down just to go up and down the stairs makes it feel more realistic all right i don't suppose i could grab like a light source off this thing can i nope <laughs> I just won't even straight out walk turns to it. <laughs> okay, so far it's been a failure. I can't reach the window. What's this? Nothing important, I see. The windows are all too high, eh? Okay. Alright. I don't suppose that there's a way to go around this house, is there? The main gate is shut off. I tried to open it already, but in the end, I had to find a spot to jump over the fence. Oh. Oh, she's narrating her life? So, like, this already happened? Probably not. Alright, let's hop. It took me quite a while through the woods to find this place. Who would build a house in such a place? Oh, oh no, she meant she, she hopped the fence to get on this side. Okay. Well then. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe... It's the other window. Or she crawls this. Hmm. Sturdy vines. I can probably climb those up no problem. Yeah, let's do it! What's gonna happen? It's gonna snap, you're gonna fall, and you're gonna die? Ha! <laughs> Funny. Oh, I like how she's balancing. Just like the ones on the ground floor. The window's too high. Oh, man. Oh! And just like that, she died. She fell on Richie, and they both died. Together. In the end. That's the story. <laughs> Dead. Deep. Root. Manor. Dun -dun. Yo, this jam is good. Sticking to the true 8-bit lifestyle, eh? I like it. Well, at least I'm inside now. This place is falling apart. Jesus, what if Witcher got hurt and he's stuck in, in here? I need to find him get the hell out of this place together. Oh man. Ah, oh, it's locked on this side too? Yep, the main door is completely jammed from this side. I'll figure out how to get out once I find my brother. I'm not leaving this place without him. Okay. Uh, well you got windows, so you can just smash a thing through it and then, you know, you're good. <laughs> An antique table. There's just a broken lamp on top. Oh man, it had to be broken. It couldn't have been fixed. My life couldn't have been easy. Door is locked from the other side. Well, this one's wide open. Oh jeez, I need a light source ASAP. Oh. You're creepy. For a thing that's blinking with light, you're not doing a good job. It seems like this door is completely jammed. Oh jeez. There's a big root cr uh, crashing through this wall. Alright, I guess this thing got swallowed up by a tree. This fruit tree root is enormous. What in the world? It's coming that way. In any case, it's obstructing the corridor. I can't go past it. Let's go this way, eh? Seems like this door is completely jammed. Whoa, look at that. It's a ginormous hole! Exactly as I thought it would be. This is a tree- oh. Oh, I see it now. The whole tree must be huge, and it's growing underground? All tree roots and foliage I've seen covering this place must be traveling through the walls from below. It probably was here already when the house was built. Why pick this place to build, then? This is strange. Really strange. I knew something was off when this house from the second I saw it. Still, my goal is just finding Richard. I'm positive he must be somewhere in this house. Turns out, uh... He was nowhere near this place. He just got lost in the woods trying to find this place. And you just screwed yourself to damnation. 
<laughs> this way completely collapsed. There's no getting around. Oh, this thing looks creepy. What is that thing? Oh! Looks like some sort of carnivorous plant. But the teeth are really big and sharp. And that thing on the right looks way too close to a, like, a human being. Human arm. Where? I don't see it. Oh. Oh, that thing to the right. That's what you meant. It's holding an old rusty key. Whatever it is, it's not moving. Yeah. <laughs> ah, very spooky. Okay, we don't need to give it a up down. We can just go ahead and go. Well, let's looks like it's dead. Press X for inventory. No, escape, baby. Ooh, an old rusty key. It has something engraved on the back. First floor library doors. Nice. All right. So it, it doesn't have any saves from menu. Maybe there's a station. An old statue. Nothing remarkable about it. I can't see the front plaque from here though. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Where I was written on this is I'm ready to put to to all the rest on top. Ah, all that effort for nothing. A stone slab with something engraved on it. It reads. Fa and dedicated, unreadable, may, blank, in peace. Guess this fountain is completely lost thanks to this tree. God dang it, tree. Look what you did. And great for the water flow. I can't see anything through it. Right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Well, this one's completely jammed. No point trying my key there. Door is locked from the other side. Well, well, well. My key is useless here, it seems. <laughs> I unlocked the door. Ooh. What you unlocked? Oh. Where did I come from? Oh, up there. Well, maybe I could use my key here. It did say first floor. Oh. Was I wrong? Guess I was wrong. First floor, yeah. This is the first floor. Maybe there was another door I missed back here. Maybe this one. Completely jammed, as in the key would not be useful. Okay. Um, have I tried this one right? Yeah, this one's completely jammed. Oh, I guess it's past there. Alright. Upstairs we go. Oh god, if it breaks and I fall in the basement. Oh no, not working. Hey, grandfather's clock. It ticks, but the hand's not moving. It seems that the pivot is just a screw. Oh, hey, puzzle. Cool stuff. A framed picture of some vineyard in the court countryside. Door is locked. I'm gonna try it anyways. Maybe this also counts for the first floor. And it does! Oh, looks like that worked just fine. The vine looks pretty sturdy. I could climb down this hole without worries. Nah, not yet. Hmm, one of the books on this shelf has a bookmark in it. The Obscure Plant Life of Planet Earth. Yeah. Let's see what's so important about this page. Being a second largest kingdom, it is quite easy to picture that, as of the writing of this book, only a fraction of plants have been discovered and properly cataloged. But what if we were to tell you that, contributing to this phenomenon, a new kind of plants are burning and growing, each one as unique as humankind? Lacking a common de denomination, the author of this book will refer to such specimen by the term Impia radix. Sure. While tales and yarns about across all continents, concrete reports of such plant life have started to be written down from the 15th century and found in the following centuries. Born from humankind through a process that the author will not disclose by moral decency, these creatures would be the missing link between our two kingdoms, if only they admit the laws of nature. 
accounts over the M MP uh, Red X Fairy, but one feature is commonly shared. It is always at the center of a cautionary tale, often passed by generations. This infamy is born from the uncannily belief of plant life viol violently reacting when meeting humankind, a complex will and indomitable force, often unruly carnal desires. The wilderness of nature meets human desires under the guise of a common perennial. On this note, the tales spin over the centuries quoted above have distorted such harmless looks into boogeyman. It is often believed that the common green man motives are originated from such myths, while empyaratics derive from unholy origins aside from appendix motions they resemble but plain green life. Yet, this creature defies nature. It is closer to demons than anything else. For all that is sacrifice, we will not discuss the empyaratics more than needed in our book. Well, that was long that was long to get through. Hmm. This bookmark though. It has three holes in it. That's peculiar. Well, won't hurt for take it with me. Okay. Makes sense to me. <laughs> Maybe she just has a thing for bookmarks. A tall bookcase. Judging from the title and the spine covers, they're all about folklore. I know it has three holes in it, but if it was me, I would just be like, oh, cool, bookmark. <laughs> all right, so I can't get past here. I guess I'm going down. Where do you take me? There's a ladder on top of this crate. Yeah, ladder obtained. Bunch of small closed crates. Okay, can I use lighter? Oh, I can examine this. A brown bookmark. It has three small square holes on it. There's a red note on the back. Beneath bed. Oh. A small silver lighter. It has enough fuel for two uses. Well, that's crummy. I guess I better go find a source to use it against. A small golden crucifix. Looking at this makes me feel like I'm safer. Gives me a weird feeling. <gasps> Save station! There you are. I feel so much better now. Ew, a stuffed wolf head lying on the ground. Looks old, but it's well preserved. It's missing one eye, though. Oh, gross. Disgusting! I locked the door. Oh, what? This is where I came from? Okay, we're very, very random. Hmm. You guys are better look for this bed that the bookmark mentioned. But what's a bed? Is this a bed? A big closed crate. No. More crates? Yep. Nothing but crates. Nothing but crates. I could try the rest of the upstairs. See what else is here. This clock is weird and confusing. So I'll do that later. A huge portrait of some fat person. <laughs> but it's shredded in pieces. I can't make out the figure. Would you like me to piece it together? <laughs> <laughs> the door is locked. Aww. The floor has collapsed, and the vines don't look robust enough to climb safely. Dang it. Okay, what about this one? <laughs> I could climb it, then climb back down. Nothing unique at all. Ooh, there's a note here. I came back early for my daily walk. You'll find me in my study. Once you read this, bring me a glass of fine wine. Oh. No. Demon. <laughs> Alright, well what if we try... Damn it. Oh, that's cool. Diary is a map. Wow. Damn, a lot of hard work went into this. Okay, so all this is just the first floor. Huh, I wonder. Alright, according to my map, there's something with the window. And I wonder if I could light this thing on fire. This awful plant is still firmly attached to the window. Guess I need to find a way to get rid of it if I want to pass through. Here we go! No matter how creepy it looks, it's still definitely a plant. Guess I could try to burn it. And in doing so, I burnt down the house. <laughs> oh, 
Th that burned out real fast. All right, progression, baby. Ooh, this looks safe. The bathtub is filled with some green stuff that's gurgling. I better not touch it. Put a stick through it. Oh, she's gonna use the sink. No running water, as expected. Do you need a pee? I'm told that has no water in it, and it's empty. Yeah, that would be gross. A big wardrobe. Yeah, why not? Is that a knife? A screwdriver? Okay. I need a screwdriver or something? I don't know. But I got a screwdriver now, so that's cool. Let's go this way. It's locked. Hey, it's the thing that uh, blocked it up. Is there anything here? Nope. Can't see much outside this window, but darkness. Darkness! It's everywhere. Okay, before we head upstairs, let's just finish checking around this area. I guess I'll start with this side. Oh, hey, I know where that is. Cool. Awesome. It wraps around. God dang, everything being locked. Though it feels like there's some kind of mechanism holding it back. Oh, as in you're gonna screwdriver it. No, <laughs> doesn't work. Speaking of screwdriver, let's check it out. A star head screwdriver. This could come in handy. Interesting. Door is completely jammed. This way we go. Door is locked. Seems like this door is completely jammed. Ooh. Oh, music. Fireplace is blocked by iron bars. And on top of it, there are six square slots. Ah, uh, use your Mac mouse to interact with the puzzle. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, I need to get more. Can I move with my mouse? No. <laughs> that would be cool. A tea table with a note on top. More and more vines are sneaking around. Go to the town and get something to deal with them. Yeah. For a bought this mansion, hope you didn't pay a lot. Oh, I see you got screwed in the end. Other shelves in this tall bookcase are empty and dusty. What's this? There's a piece of a photo on the ground. A picture detained. I think on this table. It's all bookcase. Completely empty. Hmm. Completely the empty. So here it is. A gramophone. It's playing some rag music. Yeah, enough of it. Arr. It was nice and pleasant, but arr, I don't want to hear more. A picture of a partly built mansion. It looks an awful lot like the one I'm in now. Heh. <laughs> Just back in its golden days. Small drawer. Ooh. Oh. Um, sounds so promising when I opened and closed it. Seems like this door is completely jammed. God dang it, door. All these doors are useless. I tried this one, right? Okay. Holy Mary, she says. Alright, out we go. To the next floor. Door is locked. Though it feels like there's some kind of mechanism holding it back. God dang all these mechanisms. They keep holding me back. Short table. Nothing interesting. Oh, what the? What are you? An airy wooden doll. It's rather large. The left arm is held together by a screw. Well, I know what to do. That left arm is now mine. Well, there's a screw to join the doll's left arm to the body. I could unscrew it with the screwdriver. Mine. Mine. <laughs> and now with this arm, I will scratch my back. <laughs> oh. Sure, take away that arm. It's broken anyway. What the f- And I'm right-handed anyway. 
Am I hearing things? I keep forgetting talking dolls are uncommon. Let me start over then. Hello, pretty miss. I am a talking doll. There, is that better? Okay, sure, why not? Creepy mansion in woods got a talking doll in it. Makes sense. Now, since I'm kind enough to lend you my hand, you can give me a reason for your presence here. Are you trespassing, hunting for occult artifacts, or are you a plant enthusiast? Oh, I'm looking for my younger brother. Name's Richard. Short, red hair. Oh, you're his sister? Yes. Have you seen him? Nope. Did I come in here? Oh, are you sure? It's all surprise. Many have entered this house. I know none who has left. Sooner or later, they are found by witch. Uh, witch? Wicked old witch. I see. Oh, snap. This is dope. Uh, uh, witch? <laughs> so, this witch, I take it she's dangerous. You bet she is. Look at this place. It's her fault this mansion's falling apart. What happened? Oh, I wasn't there when it happened. I believe she hexed to death the previous owner and snatched it. But I was carved from wood by her quite some time after. She made you. Oh, how she craved for a daughter. She wept and wept. Oh, those tears got into my wood. Made me fat around the hips. <laughs> and she's dangerous, she said. Her actions speak by themselves. But she's also a reclusive mistress. She keeps herself in the shadows. You have any idea where she is? Who knows? Oh, but surely she's always watching you, and I hope for you to never meet her. Don't you know any way to counter her? Well, there is a way to counter her magic. At the end of the day, you're probably not going to be able to escape this place without doing so. There's a species of mushroom that, when eaten, will keep you free from her control. They're on the ground floor. That sounds too good to be true. That's exactly why I doubt they are any left. You're not the first visitor, pretty miss. Can you tell me where they should be on this map? You're pretty late, but sure. Alright, thanks. Hey, eh, that works. What if I try asking again? Will dialogue change? You know where the witch might be inside this mansion, right? Not at all. Who knows what she's plotting behind the scenes? Most of the... Stranger stuff you might encounter is probably her doing. I understand. Okay. So, um... Huh. He has no clue if Richard's in here or not. Sure you haven't seen my brother? I don't really move around that much. Before you woke me up, I probably slept for days. Do you have any idea where he could be inside this place? If he were as caught by a witch, he's probably trapped beneath the mansion. Quite some free space to keep intruders in down there. Be aware if you ever meet witch. She's sly, and she'll speak sweet and soft to lure you into security. But sooner or later, don't down you go. I see. I said my brother might be trapped beneath the mansion. How do I get there? I haven't been there for a while. I don't know well. There are stairs that go down from the dining room, I believe. Guess I'll do extra exploring by myself. Out in the inner courtyard, I've seen some strange plant life. Looks like it has a human arm. What the hell is that? Plant life. Plenty of that around the house. It has been abandoned for quite a while. Yeah, but that was no regular plant life. That was some kind of monster. How judgmental we are, plant are pretty miss. It was big, and with sharp teeth. It could have been a carnivorous plant, but it looked ripped apart and it had a human arm on it. Like it had eaten a human? No, no. I mean that it literally had a human looking arm. Did she speak, did it speak to you? What? No, I'm pretty positive it was dead. A shame we can't ask him then. <laughs> okay, sarcastic doll. Alright, alright. Do you happen to know anything about the huge tree growing underground? I believe the simple explanation is that the house was built above it, back when it was way younger. That would make this mansion way older than it looks. Too old. That tree must be huge below. It is. 
Tree roots are growing everywhere, moving through the walls. Some ended up on the first floor. Don't you know more about it? For that, you need to ask which. Something that I hope for your sake will never happen. So that witch might have something to do with that tree. So you know nothing about the Parnivore's plant I burned. Oh, you didn't mention this before. You burned it. Was I not supposed to do that? It's your choice, isn't it? You said it was dead after all. I guess so. Oh, <laughs> as in it, it probably wasn't dead. Oh God. All right, so we're at about 30 minutes and I think this makes a good first episode to see whether you guys are into this or not. I do want to play for the rest of this. I don't exactly know how I plan to do it. I think I'm going to pre-record a few bit more. That way I can release them more closer together as well as give myself some time to release other things that people who aren't interested in this video are looking for what, for what they're looking for. That said, if you enjoy what you're liking so far, hit that like button. If you can't wait to see more and you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it so very, very much. Comment your thoughts down below as it would help the video out and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, let's